Okay, here's a Photoshop tip that I hope you enjoy. Um, have you ever had a document that had a lot of layers in it, and maybe you're trying to select something in that document, but you couldn't figure out exactly which layer that object was on? All you have to do is let's come up over here to the top left-hand corner of your screen, and you'll see a little checkbox that, sa box that says Auto Select. Go ahead and select it, and then to the right of that, you'll see I've got a little uh, pop-up menu here that says uh, layer for me. If it says group for you, make sure that you have layer selected. And let's say I want to grab this um, CS4 here. If I click on it, you can see it just automatically goes to the correct layer. In fact, if I move over here to my layers palette, you can see that CS4 is selected. Um, if I want to hold down my shift key, I can add to my selection. I can click on the coming soon there and then hold down my shift key and click on the medallion. And you can see that the uh, medallion is selected. The coming soon is out of the range of visibility on the layers palette, so you're not seeing that. But if I come back over here and <coughs> excuse me, grab and move that around, you can see that it does move around with it. Let's say, for example, I, I had a complex object and I didn't want to shift click and continue to add to my selection every time I wanted to add something. One quick tip to doing that is if we come down here to the background and we lock it, so we come up here to our uh, lock position icon and click on that, and then come down here to this gradient and we'll lock the position on that as well. Now, if I drag a selection over part of the objects that I want to select, and I say part because you don't have to completely encompass the objects to pick them up. You can see the marquee here doesn't pick up the entire medallion or the CS4. But yet if I let go here and I come over here to the layers palette, you can see that they are indeed selected. In fact, if I come back to the objects, I can move them around just fine. And so that's a real good quick way to uh, select things that are, that are in a document that has a lot of different layers in it. I hope you enjoyed that tip.